a ah, whole bunch of people. This, this as soon as this one came out, they all went banjo. <laughs> and uh, that's that's almost true. Uh, actually, if you look very carefully at it, you will notice that it has a banjo bottom, but a guitar top. Because a, a banjo is either a five string or a four string instrument. But this has <coughs> six. So it's really a guitar banjo. Or you can call it a ganjo <laughs> or a batar. <laughs> Take your pick. Yours to name. Okay. And I bought it because uh, I always liked the sound of a banjo. But I didn't really know how to play one, and when I saw this, I said, cool, I don't want to play guitar, I'll just do the same thing. And I did that for years. I used to play a lot of ragtime pieces on it. But uh, finally I decided I should sort of learn how to do some banjo things. So I never did. But um, the interesting thing about banjo as well uh, is that it, it has several different styles of playing. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't. I, I only played this stuff once a year. Uh, normally, I practice, you know, three, four, or five days before, and I, I ran through all this stuff. I didn't really do any of the songs. I just kind of went. Okay, cool. And then, you know, so <laughs> I haven't, uh, haven't really worked this stuff out, but I'm gonna try to do some things. Um, one style is called the Scruggs picking or melodic picking. It uh, was named after Earl Scruggs, who was a bluegrass banjo player. And it's really a bluegrass style, and it, it's sort of like... Uh one of those, uh, that's why they call it picking and grinning, because you start picking and you start grinning. <laughs> it is, it's automatic. Um, the other kind of playing is, is called frailing, uh, and it's a kind of flat picking sound. It's more of a, of a country mountain sound. That one, the bluegrass sound, is a very professional, slick kind of picking. And the other style is a kind of... And so, uh, frailing would be something like... Uh, actually, you're supposed to hear that. It's, it's a uh, kind of a neat little lick. It goes... But I'm not hitting it all tonight. It's just going to so I won't pretend anymore. And uh, I'll move on to this next song, which is called Sweet Betsy from Pipe. Bob Dylan play in Long Beach in 1965, and he, uh, he was playing electric guitar at that time. He had just introduced electric guitar, and he got <coughs> booed off the stage at Newport because he used to be a folk singer, and now he was a rock and roller, and now blue. And uh, but he was cool in Long Beach. They dug him, and uh, he sat up there. He had his electric guitar, and he he, he just. Went, about 11 minutes, <laughs> truly 11 minutes, about seven minutes in, he, and he, he had not said a word, had not looked up, about seven minutes in he looked up and said, he actually, I, I made a mistake, he was playing his acoustic guitar, he had been playing his, he looked up and he went, 
my electric guitar never does this. <laughs> and then tune for about six more minutes. <laughs> but since I can't play this anyway, I won't try to get it in tune, so I'll just start here. It's, uh, this song is, is called Sweet Betsy from Pike, and it is the story of the westward movement. <laughs> <laughs> we started on the eastern seaboard, okay, with the Cape Cod girls, and we went that way. Now the rest of it is the westward movement. We are moving forward, and this has to do with the uh, the travel overland, the stage. I mean, the uh, the Conestoga wagons and the wagon trains. This is a story about a wagon train.